Let's take a look at this accounting partnership problem. Okay, the problem appears on the left, and part of the solution appears there as well. But I'll work out the solution to calculating the ending uh, partners' balances, their capital account balances, and I'll do that on the right. Let me read the problem to you, and I'm reading right here. Right, we've got Justin Harris and Paul Berryhill, and they started the HB partnership on January 1st, 2012. The business acquired 36,660 in cash from Harris and 104,340 from Berryhill. Now, it also says that they earned 67,300 in cash revenues and paid out $44,550 for cash expenses. Harris withdrew 1,700 cash from the business and Berryhill withdrew 4,300. The net income gets allocated to the capital accounts of the two partners in proportion to the amounts of their original investment in the business. All right, now what I'm going to do is show you how we come up to each partner's ending capital balance. What I'm going to do is slide over to the right. We have this information. And uh, let me slide over for you right now. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken the information that you saw on the left part of the screen and put it up, up top just so we have that in front of us. The f what I'm going to do is use T accounts to figure out how we get to the ending capital account balance. Well, here's the dollar amounts that they contributed, right? 36660 for Harris and $104,340 for Berry Hill. Oh, and a and I think I've spelled his name wrong. I think it's B-E-R-R. -R. So let me spend two seconds and get that in there right. Okay, now the next thing we've got to calculate is the income. Okay, so I've worked this ahead of time just to save some time. All right, we need to, we, they tell us what the sales were. And what the expenses were, $67,344,550 for sales and expenses. So let's jot that in, right, and then calculate what the income was. All right, and then they also say the net income is allocated to the capital accounts of the two partners in proportion to the amount of their original investment. Well, we have that information here. So what I'm going to do is show you how we would do this allocation. And then we're going to add that to the capital accounts right here. Okay, so we're going to allocate the income. Now, how did I come up with those dollar amounts? Well, here's the calculation. I'm going to hit the F2, and you can follow what's going on here. We're going to take the value in K16. That's that cell right there, 22750 and we're going to multiply it times the original capital divided by the total of both capital. So we're going to multiply the 22,750 to come up with what proportion of the 100% of capital goes to Harris. And so we take the 22,750 of income times 36,660 divided by the sum of 36,660 plus the 104,340. Okay, 36,660. 36,660 is sitting in cell L7, 104,340 is sitting in cell O7. So I'm just using Excel to do the math for you. And as soon as we, I hit enter to come up with that allocation, that says, oh, he gets, his proportion is 5,915 of the 22,750. So I jot that in here, and you'll see it just says, grab from cell K18, and that's cell K18 there. Now, I could have done this same allocation again, to come up with Berry Hill, but it's easier then to just subtract the total from what you allocated from Harris. And so I just said, well, take the total income, subtract what we've already figured out, goes to Harris, and the remainder goes to Berry Hill. And again, I've spelled his name incorrectly. He's got two R's. i got to get that right. Okay? And then that 16,000 then goes right there, right? So it's pulling from cell, uh, what is it, K19. Okay, so that takes care of the income. Then the other thing we have to do is tackle the distributions, and that's pretty straightforward. They tell us how much uh, distributions we're taking, and as you know, distributions are always a reduction of a partner's capital account. So from there, we can just calculate the balance. Uh, the credits exceed 
uh, the debits, which is what we would expect, and we're able to come up with the ending balance of each partner's capital account. Okay, now I've slid the problem back over just so you can see. Um, they're preparing the income statements for the full partnership. I was focused on just the individual capital accounts, but you'll see if I slide that off, I equal that 22750 of net income that's provided in the solutions. And then the total capital balance you see here would be the sum of the two T accounts that we did, did for uh, each partner. And uh, at the bottom of that, of that illustration on the left, it does provide the capital account balances, and they match the 4870 and the 116870. Okay, and since those match, we know we've done this problem and we've answered the capital balance questions correctly.